A couple of weeks ago, Apple announced that they are going to come out with Spatial Gallery as part of Vision OS 2.4. That has now come out as of this morning. I want to take a quick look with you guys and see what it's all about. So here it is. And this is what it looks like when you first open it up. It's just a standard gallery of a lot of different spatial photos and videos. So let's take a closer look. First off, of course, we can bring it nice and close. And notice just this first photo from Apple. We can see the depth as we get really close. And if we click on it, it becomes that full spatial view right here. And we can see from Apple. We can't click that though. Here, come on. Good boy. And as we swipe through, we can see now here's video. I'll turn this down a little bit so we can hear me talk. And these videos as well, we can take a look, we can make it bigger just like this and be in that gallery view still. Or we can click in and see the full immersive video content. But of course, we are still in our space over here. So I'll just click again to get back to the normal scrolling view. We'll move this over here and let's keep going. We see they also are using this opportunity to show some advertising. So here for Severance, if we click on this one, we can actually stream on Apple TV. And then it'll go open it up. And a great way for Apple to kind of showcase some of their own content here. And then just from standard users here, we've got just a dog shot by somebody out in LA. And when we're in this mode as well, in the full spatial mode, we can swipe through. And here again, Billie Eilish chatting, watch the full performance. And here, that's going to be blacked out because of the DRM situation, but you get the idea. Also, we've got a couple things here we can share with anybody else. Ideally, they'd probably have a Vision Pro. And then you can add something as favorite. And when you go to favorites, you now have just your favorite items that you found synced up right here. And I favorited this one here just because it was another example of a nice promo for the Gorge. And we can stream on Apple TV. Over here was just a really cool one, really showcasing that spatial feature well with a big fish that comes into our face here. There he is. So that's about it. We'll have to see really how much content there is available to start as I just swipe through aggressively. It looks like we've already hit the end here. So they might have only started with maybe 40, 50 different items. That's really cool. So I'm sure this will grow as it evolves, but so far, I think it's a great start. It's almost like a mini TikTok for uh, Vision Pro with all this cool spatial content. So that's it on the Spatial Gallery app for now. Uh, we'll see how this continues to add more content, but uh, otherwise, let me know if you guys have any questions and thanks for watching. Also, when you're on the latest beta of iOS for your phone, they came out with the Apple Vision Pro app. So we'll take a quick look at that. Looks like we can discover content, get downloads ready, etc. We'll send notifications to the Vision Pro. And here, when we don't have the headset on, we can go ahead and just take a quick look and see what's available. There's Spatial Gallery again. Now, let's see if we want to experience the 3D movie. Add it to the watch list. And then that should show up on Vision Pro on the watch list. And here we can click through and find different apps to download. And this will send the downloads to the Vision Pro. And if I go to my Vision Pro, I can see my inserts, some tips, fit and care, essentials. So pretty standard stuff. I mean, nothing too surprising here. And actually, no way to kind of just have a, a full app store either. Yeah, so pretty much just looks like a way to just add, add some items to your watch list and find some apps to download, but not too much else in terms of the features.